deep from the depths of interstellar space, a message was sent. A message that has scientists at NASA scratching their heads. Ten years ago, Voyager 1 made history as the first human-made object to explore interstellar space. But now it's sending back strange messages that have everyone talking. Is it in contact with something mysterious? Is it a glitch in the system or is it from an extraterrestrial source? Get ready to dive into the mystery as we explore the latest anomaly from Voyager. To understand the recent mystery message, we need to go back to August 20th, 1977, when NASA launched the Voyager 2 spacecraft from Cape Canaveral Air Force Base. Its mission was to study and explore the solar system's outer limits and beyond. The spacecraft, along with its twin Voyager 1 launched weeks later, were part of NASA's grand tour of the outer solar system, which would visit all of the outer planets, including then the planet Pluto. However, due to the exorbitant cost of each of these one-of-a-kind spacecraft, NASA scrapped the grand tour in favor of Mariner Jupiter Saturn, later renamed Voyager. Both Voyager's primary missions were to visit Jupiter and Saturn. Voyager 2 also visited Uranus and Neptune, whereas Voyager 1 prioritized Saturn's giant moon, Titan, sending it on a new trajectory to the solar system's edge. It wasn't until Voyager 2's flyby of Neptune in 1989 that the interstellar mission was developed. The Voyager spacecraft has been in operation for over four decades and continues to transmit valuable scientific data to Earth. This longevity, however, comes with its own set of challenges. The time it takes for radio signals to travel to and from the spacecraft increases as the spacecraft moves further away from Earth, making communication and data collection more difficult. Sending a message to Voyager 1 and receiving responses takes about two days. The key milestones of the Voyager mission was the flyby of Jupiter and Saturn. Scientists were able to understand more about the planets and their moons thanks to this spacecraft. They also discovered new features, such as active volcanoes on Jupiter's moon Io and Saturn's strange hexagonal storm at its north pole. The flyby of Saturn's largest moon, Titan, by Voyager 1 enabled scientists to study its thick atmosphere and paved the way for Cassini-Huygens mission and the upcoming Titan Dragonfly mission. In 2012, Voyager 1 became the first human-made object to explore interstellar space when it was 122 astronomical units away from the Sun. Voyager 2 soon followed in 2018, when it also entered interstellar space. To fully understand the Voyager's journey into an interstellar space, one must first understand the concept of the heliosphere. The heliosphere is a bubble-like region that surrounds our solar system, and it's dominated by solar wind, a stream of charged particles from the sun. Beyond the heliosphere lies interstellar space, the vast expanse between the stars in our galaxy. When NASA's Voyager 1 spacecraft was 18 billion kilometers from the sun, scientists determined that the venerable spacecraft had crossed the boundary between the sun's influence and the interstellar medium. This was determined by measuring the density of particles in the environment, which was discovered to be 10 times greater than that of the solar wind at those distances. The journey of Voyager 1 into interstellar space was not sudden, but rather it was gradual. It took several months for the spacecraft to cross the heliopause, which is the boundary between the heliosphere and interstellar space. During this time, Voyager 1 sent back data on plasma density peaks and troughs, this data showed that the heliopause is not just a line or a door, but rather a complex, thick boundary that allows for communication. Magnetic fields were one of the most exciting observations made by Voyager 1 during its journey. The magnetic field from the Sun was expected to meet the magnetic field from space with a change in direction at the heliopause. However, neither Voyager 1 or Voyager 2 detected any change in the magnetic field's angle. This was a mystery that scientists have yet to solve. Some theories propose that the magnetic fields are linked in some way, whereas others claim that the interstellar magnetic field is much weaker than previously thought. But that was not the biggest mystery of the Voyager. The biggest mystery was yet to come. Recently, strange messages have been sent back from the Voyager 1 spacecraft, causing confusion and intrigue among NASA scientists. The messages in question were sent by the Attitude Articulation and Control System, or AACS. It's a computer on the spacecraft. 
This system is in charge of keeping the spacecraft's orientation and directing its instrument toward specific targets. One of the main challenges in understanding this anomaly is the vast distance between the spacecraft and Earth. At over 20 billion kilometers away, communication with the spacecraft is difficult and slow, with messages taking up to two days to be received after being sent. Additionally, the spacecraft is now operating on limited power, with its instruments and systems running at reduced capacity. To extend the life of the mission, NASA has gradually turned off non-essential instruments such as the Planetary Radio Astronomy Instrument, Ultraviolet Spectrometer, and Infrared Interferometer Spectrometer. Even the spacecraft's cameras were turned off after the initial flybys of Jupiter and Saturn just to conserve power, but were later reactivated for a rare alignment of the outer planets. By redirecting power to essential systems like propulsion, radio transmitter, and power supply, NASA has been able to keep the Voyager mission going along. According to some theories, the messages could be the result of a glitch in the AACS computer or a problem with the spacecraft's power supply. Aside from malfunction, another possibility is that the messages are being sent by an intelligent extraterrestrial life form. The idea of extraterrestrial life in the vast expanse of interstellar space is certainly not far-fetched. The discovery of exoplanets and the possibility of habitable conditions on some of them raises the prospect of life existing elsewhere in the universe. However, the distance between Earth and the Voyager 1 spacecraft is so great that even with the most advanced technology, we're unlikely to ever fully comprehend the messages sent back. There are several theories as to what the strange messages mean. Some scientists believe they may be a form of communication, while others believe they may be data or information being transmitted. This anomaly has significant implications for the future of space exploration. If the messages are from an intelligent extraterrestrial life form, it would be a huge breakthrough that could lead to a better understanding of the universe and our place within it. However, NASA recently announced that they had solved the mystery of the strange messages. The underlying issue was caused by the spacecraft's attitude articulation and control system, switching to sending telemetry data via an onboard computer that hasn't worked in years. This corrupted data resulted in seemingly random or invalid messages being sent back to Earth. The issue was resolved by instructing the AACS to resume sending data through the correct computer. According to the Voyager's project manager, Susan Dodd, we'll do a full memory readout of the AACS and look at everything it's been doing. This will help us try to diagnose the problem that caused the telemetry issue in the first place. The issue could be related to the spacecraft's age and the fact that it's been operational for more than four decades, which means that the system is likely to be outdated and may have encountered problems. However, it remains unknown how the Voyager was able to send messages through a corrupt computer in the first place, and who switched the sending mode. Things could get even more interesting if it's caused by an extraterrestrial life. After all, the Voyager carries a golden record, which contains a message from humanity to any extraterrestrial life that may encounter the spacecraft in the future. Imagine an alien species millions of light years away listening to Chuck Berry's Johnny Be Good, or learning about the different cultures on Earth through greetings in 55 different languages. The Golden Record also contains images of Earth, our solar system, and a map of Earth's position in the galaxy, so they know exactly where to find us. It's like leaving a note in a bottle, but in space. Who knows, aliens might even be jamming to our tunes as they read our message. We hope you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe, like the video, and watch these ones as well.